<laughs> well, today I am baking, and probably after these recipes with the amount of butter and sugar in here, you will be needing, needing to do some zumba. <laughs> right, we've got two fantastic recipes for you. We're going to make some coffee fudge which is brilliant, it's really simple, it's great at this time of year, you can make it, you can cube it up and you can give it to someone as a Christmas present. And then the next one, we're, uh, next recipe, we're gonna do a ginger crunch, it's gonna be fantastic. Beautiful um, cake-like, sort of crispy cake-like texture and then this beautiful glaze on top, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Come back a bit later and then we'll get baking. Let's head to the Mastercraft kitchen to get Chef Mark's sweet treats. Oh, I know, I tell you what, thanks Mel, she's been very excited about the fudge. Yeah, for once. Yeah, no, you're right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so baking today, let's get into it, let's go. Yep, baking two recipes, so we've got a fudge and we've got a ginger crunch. So we're going to start the fudge first. So in here, yep. I've got some sugar, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of milk, and I've just sort of brought it up to uh, brought it up to temperature, whisking it so you're starting to dissolve that sugar. Yes. Uh, sweetened condensed milk Ooh. goes in now. Okay, so sugar, sweetened condensed milk, all oh, this sounds yes. nice and, and rich. Pinch, pinch of salt <laughs> and salt. a bit of... Butter. A bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool, okay. And we'll and just break some, this all down. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Get it all in. You can still keep stirring it so it's all mixed in. And we've got some um, golden syrup as well. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. So all we need to do now is bring all that to the bowl, melt it, mix it, bring it to the boil, and you want to boil it for about sort of five, six, seven minutes. Yeah. So it needs to get to a magical temperature of 114 degrees. Okay. And that will just activate all the sugars and make sure when it cools down, it will set. And right. that is your fudge. And then we're going to flavour it after. But okay. it's important now just to get it to that stage and then we'll flavour it later. Okay, cool. So do the flavouring a little later yep. on. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of coffee and a little bit of vanilla as well to do mm. that. Okay, cool. Right. right. I'll so keep watching this. Job one. Right, ginger crunch. Yeah, what have you got in that bowl? Right, so we've just got some butter, softened butter, at room temperature, and a little bit of sugar. Yeah. That's quite a lot of sugar. <laughs> um, sweet treats, it's all right. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so we're just creaming it with a hand mixer. So get it on nice and fluffy. Yeah. So a little bit more. So how do you know when it's the perfect fluffiness? Uh, keep going, it'll go paler. Right. And you, so you can already see like the difference in the colour of, of that butter and this butter. Nice. Jesse, we're, we're doing a bit of work today, aren't we? Oh, no, it's, it's quite, it's quite, quite busy. Long. It's very full on. Right, and then we've got some flour. Yeah. So just going to sift that in, and then we're just going to fold it together, and we're just going to make sort of a dough. Okay, so that goes in there. Got some baking powder and some ginger powder as well. Okay. So that goes in. Yep. We're just going to make a dough, so mix it, mix it around carefully. Get it all mixed together so you've got this nice dough and then we're going to put it into this container. We're okay. going to pack it down and then you're going to bake it in the oven for about uh, 190 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes until nice golden brown. Right, and that's going to be your base for your ginger crunch. Yeah, so that's the base. And then whilst it's cooking, we're going to make the uh, glaze, the topping yeah. for it. So we've got these ingredients here, but we can make that in a minute because it yeah. takes 25 minutes, so we've okay, got time. Cool. Right, well this needs a little bit more time to yep. keep boiling away and we'll come back very soon, we'll do the flavouring, we'll finish it off, the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Okay, we're back in the Mastercraft kitchen, welcome Mel, how Thank you going? You get ready, um, ready to do some work? I'm ready to do some stuff, Okay, yeah. ginger crunch time, we prepared the base earlier. Yep, so Mike's done this, so just put it in there, smooth it off and then that's ready for the oven. Nice. So when it comes out of the oven, this is what you're left with. So it's risen slightly, nice golden brown, and whilst it's still warm, we want to put the glaze on top. Okay, so what so am I doing? Mel's going to do the glaze. So, or everything in, any yep. order? Yep, so you've got butter in there, so we just melted it's it just to speed butter. it up. We've got some icing sugar, some ground ginger again, and some uh, golden syrup. Oh, that so that all goes in, bring it up to the boil, make sure it's nice and smooth and all emulsified, and then that can be poured over the top, and then you have to score it, because it does set mm. quite hard. Yum. It smells right. incredible. Okay. Let's have a look at the fudge. Yes. So the fudge has been cooking away. Yeah. So you see, it's starting to get a little bit of colour there, so we know the sugar's getting to that sort of temperature. So are you, you going to do that ball test? That's how you know it's ready to put near to set? Oh, there's a top tip for you, Mel. Okay. <laughs> we'll yeah. find out well, you soon. put it into water. You put it into the water, so you know. Then you know if it, if you know you do, if it goes into a little ball, drop in the water. Then it's um then it's, it's sort of like it's really it's a softball too, stage. Yeah. Oh, softball nice. stage. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Not Gee, just Mark, a pretty. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> we can't all do it by look like Mark can. Well, we're going to flavour it, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah. we're going to pull it off the heat now. Yeah. So ideally, let it cool down for a minute or so because it is really hot at it the moment. It is really hot. Um, 
little bit of vanilla in there. Yeah. And then we've got a little bit of coffee as well. Okay, so we're and using the Makuna coffee, and it's from the Peter Alexander Limited Edition yep. range. That's it. Nice work. And I tell you what, once you've used your coffee, these very cool jars can be reused. So just go to the website, makuna.co.nz, to find out how to reuse them. Well, I was thinking about that. You could drink all the coffee, make yep. the fudge, yep. chop it up, put it in, give it to someone for Christmas. You got a fudge jar. That's there a very go. good idea. Okay, nice work. Yeah, right, everyone. so coffee goes in, mm -hmm. and you're just going to stir it. It's just going to dissolve, dissolve into the fudge and flavour the fudge. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells incredible. Right, we've got That's a non-stick spray. <laughs> I'm just going to spray it, just lightly with some spray grease. Yeah. Just so it doesn't stick. Yeah. Pop that down. That's it, take it off the heat now. Okay, you, you do it. that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to yeah. ruin it for you. Yeah, you Getting a little bit hot. All right, so just make sure it's... It's all nice and smooth and it's together and then we're just going to pour it in there and then you want to let that set. Let it set at room temperature Yep. and then pop it in the fridge so it really sets and then you can carve it. Okay, I'll tell you what, it's we'll come nice back. Okay. Cube. Right, so this is nearly ready, so let's pour that over the cake. Okay. Oh, you pour and I will throw to the break because we'll come back very soon and see the finished product. Can't wait to try these. Mark of the Mastercraft Kitchen, how is the fudge and the ginger crunch going? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm just chopping it up now. I think I've eaten half of it though. Yeah. <laughs> Once you start, you can't stop. So that's why I'm going to bring it over to you yep. guys so yeah, you can eat it. I was in the kitchen before I had a little sneaky go on the fudge. It's really good. It's oh, really yum. good.